gasten, uh, G-Time kijkers, ik zit hier met B. Wright. En uh, ik heb een Skype interview met hem op het laatst kunnen regelen. En uh, nou, de, de, deze gast is onwijs tof. Uh, hij heeft verschillende albums uitgebracht onder Gati Records, het platenlabel van Toby Mac. Uh, en ik zit hier nu. Het is uh, ongeveer half elf s'avonds en um, ik denk dat we maar gaan beginnen. Let's just start. So, Brian, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you doing at, at 11 o'clock out there? <laughs> yes, 11 o'clock over here and I'm getting sort of tired, but it's, it's, right. it's, I'm getting pumped by speaking Good. to you. So uh, you're giving me energy. So awesome. um, my first question is, uh, how would you describe yourself as a person? Man, I would describe myself as I'm kind of a laid back, um, go with the flow, um, very adaptive person. So. Throw me on a stage with a bunch of people and I will, I will jump around and act crazy. Um, put me in a room with some, some chill laid out folks and I will be as chill as they get. And so uh, I'm, I'm an introvert and an extrovert. I love getting to know people. I love talking to people. But I also love to like withdraw and just be by myself. And, um, so you're sort of a Jekyll and Hyde or not? Yeah, exactly. I try to... I try to uh, use them the right way, you know what I mean, and not, because they can be strengths or weaknesses, so, yeah, yeah. So, um, you as a person, you're so talented, when you're a writer, producer, um, and um, singer, they call you triple threat, but I think you're like a quadruple threat or something like that, because you're, you also rap, and you do lots of things, so uh, yeah. how did you get so talented? You know what, man? I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I kind of just was born into the world, and I just grew up, and I had these gifts. Um, I think, if anything, a lot of it I learned. Some of it's just natural. It's just I have an ear for music. Mm -hmm. I, I, when I was five years old, I just sang. You know, my my dad does music, and I've I've grown up around music. Yeah, and you did so, a, you did a commercial when you were five, or not? I did, yeah. My dad, uh, he produced the music for, it's called Oshkosh Bagash, and it was like, it's a clothing company out here up in northern Wisconsin, and so they make like overalls and suspenders, and so I sang for that uh, at an early age, and so I have the gift, it's in me, but it's just been learning how to steward it and learning how to grow in my yeah. skill and talent, you know? So can you sing a short piece of that commercial? Oh gosh, yeah, only only for you. It was uh, it was really high because I was a little kid. But it was like grown ups like gosh, gosh, for gosh, cause kids look good in them. <laughs> <laughs> that still sounds good. Hey man, you know that was that was my claim to fame. You know, as a five year old kid, right? So how would you describe yourself as an artist? Because you were more like quiet and an extrovert than introvert, but as an artist. Yeah, How I think, yourself? yeah, as an artist, um, you know, I really have a, uh, just this passion for, or this desire for excellence. And so um, I'm very diverse um, in the different styles that I actually use um, as an artist and as a writer because i rap and grew up listening to hip hop and because I sing and just love great melodies um, I kind of have a spectrum that I can kind of it's a it's a wide angle mm -hmm. of decisions I have to make when I write a song so usually when I'm inspired it can be um, stylistically in the realm of, of pop or it can even be hip hop and so yeah. It's definitely a diversity, and it's definitely a a desire for musical integrity, and a desire to make the best possible song yeah. that I can within the parameters that I have, and let the music speak for itself. You know, mm -hmm. and as an artist, I just look at it as I have the ability to kind of I can't create something out of nothing, but I can take the unique perspective that I have, the unique gifts that I have and all the stuff that I've acquired and just kind of piece it together in such a way that it communicates and it connects with people yeah. um, in a unique and authentic way. Oh, all right, all right. 
So I, I read something funny. You said on a website, I think on your Twitter, that if you wouldn't be in music, <coughs> you would be an acrobat. Um, let, let me read it here. It, it, it was so funny. You would play uh, pro beach basketball, or you would oh, be volleyball. A, f volleyball. Volleyball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or you would be a barista. What is a barista? A barista is a coffee, like if you work at Starbucks or for coffee shop and you serve coffee. Okay. In Europe, though, I would, you know. All right. And, or, or you would work in Cirque du Soleil. So yeah, so, yeah. Were you yeah. for real or just joking? That, well, I'll leave that up to you to decide if that's <laughs> true or not. Now, you know, I, I was on my Twitter one day and I, I looked at the, uh, my description of myself and it said, you know, now is not forever in stores. You know, that was like the the description of me and, and I decided that I wanted to uh, have a little bit more of an interesting introduction to people mm -hmm. and so it's definitely sarcastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Cirque, Cirque del Soleil to me would not happen ever uh, but definitely to be slim. in Europe. What's that? You are slim. Oh yeah, well thank you, yeah, I, but any kind of acrobat it's not happening with me. Now I would say pro beach volleyball it wouldn't be possible, but yes, I would love to do it for a living. That would be a pretty sweet uh, yeah. job. Yeah, in so. the sun, getting your tan and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I got another question, and, and, and I doubted if I would ask this question, but the girls over here want to know, are you <laughs> married or not? I am not married. I am single. Yes, sir. You're not seeing someone or... I'm not. I'm. I'm looking. I got my eyes open. Um, but I haven't. I haven't met that special somebody yet. So, um, I'm. I'm definitely single, and there's nobody in the picture right now. Um, I write songs about being single. Um, got my heart broke before. I write songs about getting my heart broke, awesome. and uh, it's part of life, you know. Yeah. So, what would the perfect girl look like for you? What does um, she have to have? That's a loaded question, and uh, <laughs> that's I, I why I'm say, asking you. Yeah, I mean, I would say for me, it's definitely about the ability to be a, a companion and to to be able to to think about it for the rest of your life. To just be able to <clears throat> laugh and live and love together, and of course, you're going to be attracted to each other. There's going to be a physical and a, 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 and a, a desire to get to know her in a deeper way. But as far as a blueprint, I don't know, man. You know, I, I, I think sense of humor is important uh, and, and just the character and integrity and because you're talking about a, a lifetime of commitment and it's, it wouldn't just be a, you know, a fling. So yeah. definitely looking for uh, the ability to get along with and, and ability to uh, have fun with and grow together, you know. All right. And what about faith then? What what kind of role does faith play in it? Well, faith at the end of the day is is all we have. I think the belief that this world is temporary, um, that we are living for, we were we were originally created to be eternal, yeah. um, and when when sin entered the world, that was ended. And so, for me, my life is on an eternal scale. I just happen to be in the temporary part of it in this temporary physical body and so of course in my desire to find a um, a, a mate it would be a, a faith-based agreement that me and her are serving the same God that that um, we're serving the same Jesus together so that our goals we're aiming for the same mark um, and not just trying to live for each other or for ourselves you know? yeah so I, I read another personal thing you, you wrote on the website. You said that your identity is more in God than in Jesus than in music. So uh -huh. can, could you explain that your identity is more in music, more in God than in music? Can you explain that? Yeah, um, that's a great question. I, for me, my music is a part of me. It's temporary. You know, it's something I do. It's something that I'm gifted at, but my identity and who I am, you know, God is ultimately my all. The gift of music comes from the Creator, God. The, the, the ability to make music was given and entrusted me by um, the one who made me. And so 
as an identity, as a stamp, as you know, the all of me, it's it's rooted in in Christ and who He says I am and who He made me to be, and that I'm a child of God, um, and that like the music thing can come and go. You know, I was talking to my grandfather who's in his 80s now, and he you know he said to me, "Use your gifts while you have them because they fade away." You know, this voice that I have isn't. The temporary, this physical voice that I have is not eternal. So for me to say, put my identity in, in, as an artist, as a musician, as a songwriter, mm -hmm. um, for one, the, these gifts aren't eternal. And two, they're not the first part of me. They're not at the core of me. They're just something I do. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, so. so you, you talk in this interview a lot about having that eternal perspective. Uh, mm -hmm. How does that influence your choices and your way of life? Can you tell me short about that? Yeah, uh, well, if we if we live here with the end in mind, you know, obviously I'm a human being and I'm far from perfect and wrestle daily with, you know, with fear and anxiety and am I doing the right thing? Am I crazy? What's going on? But for the for the in the core of me, you know, if I'm living with the end in mind, I'm going to make decisions now. Case like if I am a uh, If I'm career minded and my whole my drive and all all of me lives just for the here and now, um, I'm gonna make decisions what's best for my career. But if I'm kingdom minded, as as Jesus talked about the kingdom of heaven, then I'm gonna make decisions with that in mind. So it's not like I'll be legalistic and religious about it, but I'll actually believe like, okay, this is not the end, this life here. I'm actually Um, making investments now in, in letting go of things and giving giving of myself and my gifts with the goal that in eternity that there's there's an effect on eternity. So it would be like me trying to share my heart through music and, and encourage people um, about the gospel um, and not just focus on, well, hey, this is how it feels right now, and this is where I'm at in my life, you know? Let's talk about your music. Your last album, Now Is Not Forever. Um, could you explain um, the message, the main message of the album? Yeah, um, Now Is Not Forever as a concept is basically what we're talking about is living in the now with eternity. Um, it's almost like we can look at this world through a lens. I can look at... Um, Uh, God and at other people through a lens of temporary and all I know to be true right now or I can flip it and and look at the now through an eternal perspective and it's it's kind of dual sided on one side when we're hurting and we're in those moments where we we just can't we don't know how we're going to keep going and enduring the situation we're in no matter what it is now is not forever simply meaning this moment isn't going to last forever It, this too shall pass, um, and there is a joy on the other side of the obstacle that we're in. It's worth fighting for. Um, and, then, and then the other side of it is, because now is not forever, um, it's a temporary moment. It's, it's a reminder to, to live life to the fullest right now, to take advantage of this moment. Um, too often, I view life as just a mundane, daily Uh, repetitive, meaningless thing of just, well, I'm just going to go through the motions. But realizing that now is a special moment that is not going to be forever. I want to make the most of it. And like we said before, just realize that there's more to life than what we see. There's mm -hmm. there's more to life than the tangible. Um, there There is a a world, uh, an eternal kingdom that we can't see. And that's what faith is. And that's What it gets confusing to a, a finite brain to process that stuff, and um, but yeah, now is not forever. That that's just kind of what I felt the strongest about when I was working on that record. 